इंटीग्रेशन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ यूनिलेटरल लेपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ एक्स टी इज any causal signal and its laplace transform is x of s where x of s is integration of x t e to the power minus s t from 0 to infinity then the laplace transform of x t by t unilateral laplace transform of x t by t is integration of capital x of lambda from s to infinite now in equation 1 first replace s by lambda so this equation becomes x of lambda integration of x t e to the power minus lambda t from 0 to infinite now we will integrate this expression with respect to lambda so now the right hand side e to the power minus lambda t is function of lambda so we have to integrate this term an integration of e to the power minus lambda is e to the power minus lambda t divided by minus t lower limit of integration is s upper limit of integration is infinite so i so if i substitute the limits in the right hand side of this expression then it will be integration of x t by t e to the power minus lambda in fact in place of lambda we have infinite minus e to the power minus s t here x t is causal signal so x t is zero for negative time and x t has non zero values for positive time it means this time is positive so every time we will have e to the power minus infinite and e to the power minus infinite is zero so this will be this has to be zero so integration of x t by t e to the power minus s t dt suppose this is expression 2 now if if i compare the expression 1 and 2 then laplace transform of x t unilateral laplace transform of x t is x s so the unilateral laplace transform of x t by t is integration of x lambda with respect to lambda from minus 
sorry from s to infinite this is s from s to infinite now let's see one example of this property e to the power minus t ut is a causal signal its laplace transform is 1 upon s plus 1 now another signal is t e to the power minus t ut then its laplace transform is 1 upon s plus 1 whole square now here we have used the differentiation in s domain property of laplace transform this will be minus d by ds laplace transform of e to the power minus t ut that is 1 upon s plus 1 and if if we solve this then this will be minus Minus one, s plus one to the power minus two, or one upon s plus one square. Now we will apply the integration in s domain property of Laplace transform, unilateral Laplace transform. This signal is suppose x t. So x t by t or t e to the power minus t u t by t. Its Laplace transform, unilateral Laplace transform, will be integration of x of s. That is one upon s plus one square. X of lambda is one upon lambda plus one square from s to infinite. Now, if I integrate this, then this will be lambda plus one to the power minus two plus one divided by minus two plus one. and lower limit is s upper limit is infinite if i substitute the limits then this will be minus 1 1 upon infinite plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 1 so we can say the laplace transform of t e to the power minus t ut divided by t is here 1 by infinite is 0 and this minus minus plus 1 so laplace transform is 1 upon s plus 1 so this is how we can find out the laplace transform using the integration in frequency domain property of unilateral laplace transform if i cancel out the t's here then the signal is e to the power minus t ut and its laplace transform is 1 upon s plus 1 which we already have that's how we use the integration in frequency domain property of unilateral laplace transform